Okay, how about now? Can you hear me? Okay, can you guys hear me? Or... So, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear the car? Can you hear the engine? The car- oh my god, what is wrong with this piece of shit? Okay, how about now? Okay, good. Blah, 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 la, 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 blah, 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 la, la, la. OBS is such a nightmare to work with, seriously. Blah, 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 la, la. La 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 la. Blah blah la la la. Okay, so I was trying to split up the audio tracks. I think I figured it out now on how to do a recording and a you know stream so it could be heard on both ends. Cause I'm trying to split up the audio tracks just because it's so annoying to work with this shit. Just because the the filters are so bad. What's up, Ramon? So yeah, what's up, everybody? Sorry for no audio when the stream started. I guess. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm doing fine, Rick. How are you? Just had a major lag. Did anybody else have lag? Well, that could be because of the fact that um, I didn't have Audacity open, or I didn't have iRace technically on. But yeah. Since we're doing a warm-up right now for 45 more seconds, I want to wait for the car behind me to get get here. I want to see what the draft is like. Oh my god, that is so fucking scary. Car Clear. What's the draft like here at Talladega? Ooh, spooky. 
<laughs> You've got wheel damage. No shit. All right, where are we gonna start? Okay, we qualified second because I, I you have to do the qualifying session separately. Is this a grid start? Okay, it's a grid start. So let me do my little intro real quick. What's up guys? Welcome back to another iRacing video on this channel. This is The Moving Chicane, and today we're doing Week 13, Are You Afraid of the Night Series? Radical SR8 Racing at Talladega Super Speedway. So I qualified second in a separate qualifying session, and yeah, I I don't know what else to say. We're probably going to die. We're doing a grid start at Talladega. So let's hope for the best and see if we can pull off any chance of winning here. Oh my god, the wheel spin on the banking. Had a really bad start, but that's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that bad start's gonna cost me big time. But hey, I mean, at least I'm still in the front row, right? That's all that matters right now. Oh my god, the 44 is so fast. I can't see anything behind me. It's just going to be a war of attrition here, I guess. So, 22 laps of this. I think he might be running the baseline setup instead of the low downforce one. Oh, and we have a wreck. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, where do I go? Of course I am. Oh shit. I can't see anything. <laughs> It might be the strategy here, uh, filing. 20 more laps of this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I follow the white car? Can I follow the 16? Am I clear all around? No, I'm not! Oh my god, I can't even see the four! Can I bump draft here? Sorta. I'm giving that car a lot of damage, I don't know. I don't know. left the bottom open but don't close the doors please okay he, he didn't close the door we're good oh he backed off I don't know either that or he just lost a lot of speed which I doubt probably backed off bump draft it seems to work all right come on force stay on the bottom Stay on the bottom. 
try to work together. Oh, I felt that. I felt that one. That one kind of hurt. Oh, smoke. The next car's the leader. Is it? I doubt it. I like how they're saying, you idiots. Like, dude, it's week 13. Pretty fucking lax, dude. Like, I did the figure eight race yesterday as a, like, for, like, to grab a thumbnail and to see how I could do. And some dude was like, oh, uh, you know, I could still protest you, right? Because the coding rule still applies. Like, wrecking is still protestable. It's like, yeah, it's a fucking figure eight, dipshit. Is someone vaping up front? Yeah, it's you. It's you, Rick. But yeah, someone was just like, oh, I could still protest, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, well, dude. It's week 13. What do you expect? Car outside. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Car outside. Two wide. One minute. Zero. Point four. Seven. Five. Stay low. Ah, uh, don't, don't squeeze me, please. Stay low. You're in fourth position. Can I just take the apron the entire time? Clear. Speed secrets, ladies and gentlemen. Can we go on the apron, apron? Oh my god. Pass of the grass? No! <laughs> of course, that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you gotta get creative here when you're running baseline setup, right? Oh my god, they're closing the door on each other. Nope. Uh, gambling's in my blood? Yeah, it is. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the apron will work, but not the apron apron, which is just right there next to the grass. Am I playing Russian Roulette? Yeah, and I'm somehow still alive here. Oh shit, I forgot about the grass. Right here on the dog leg. Or try over, whatever the hell it's called. Line. Oh hell, what do I do? Nothing where I really can Still do. Hold your line. I'm gonna have to get like a setup going here or something. Clear outside. Fix the gearing on the car, lower the hell out of the downforce or something. Because those guys ahead, oh my god, they're so Clear far outside. ahead of us. 13 seconds. I thought I had the low down for setup on, but I believe I might be running the baseline on accident. Probably because technically I switched servers! What's up, Arthur? No, please don't! No! Like, the problem is that you can't see anything, so I can't even- I can't, can't do any strategies here, like... I wanna try to go further down the oval, but it's like, no, there's grass there. Where is the grass? Where is the pavement? Where is there everything? Uh... Can we 
we go outside. on the bottom? Yes, we can. <laughs> bottom, three wide. Oh my God! Outside, Are they on the dog on the, on the apron? I mean, what's it dog leg? Oh shit! <laughs> oh my God! I don't want to die. Not like this. I'm too young. No, back out, back out. Don't be stupid, TMC. Don't be retarded. Come on now. That's a battle for fourth place, but it's so much fun. I'm gonna start weaving just because. Look how wide the back stretch is here. Oh shit. Come on. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear. Car outside. Okay, there's no more grass. Car outside. Two one. Wait. Where are where are they? Still there. Hold your line. Oh my god, I, I don't know where anything is. Stay low. I, I I seriously cannot tell what's going on. We're only halfway there. Oh look, who joined us? Two more cars have joined the party. Oh shit, look at them bump drafting each other! We're all battling here, we should be bump drafting! Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh man. Wait, do you have the pit in this race? Why is he going into pit road? That car's a lap down. One minute zero point one six four. Oh shit! You do have the pit. So should we just stay out? I guess. If we really, oh wait, never mind. We don't have to. No, never mind. I'm used to GT Sport where it says the number of laps, not the number of gallons remaining. That says gallons and then estimated laps. Never mind. See, now I lost my dancing partner. So it's like shit. What do I do now? All we really can do is hope that someone crashes ahead of us. One minute zero point five three six. You got ten laps to go. Look at that. Twenty four seconds ahead. This is a timed race, or laps, whatever comes first, and so there's only 2 minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Oh, hey, what's up, Marvin? Oh, God, what? C can this race just end? Just end my misery, please? I racing. I have enough time to send a message. Oh yes, I have wheel damage. Yes, I know. I know I have wheel damage. Let's slap the wall. Your car is too much damage. We've got to fix it.
There's only one more lap remaining, so... Yeah, I mean, that's there's that. What? I see more headlights spinning around and round. Are we on the podium now? Wait, am I leading the race? There's no way I'm leading the race. No, of course not. We're not. We're not leading the race. Oh, shit. Hey, is that the checker flag? Because we're out of time. Oh, it's the white flag. Okay, so checkers next time around. Oh. Damn it. Car outside. Clear oh, it's outside. the Dell car. No, the car is damaged. I'm literally holding the steering wheel to the right. Just to keep it straight. There's fortune oh my god, there's fortunate no left turns. I mean right turns, right turns, so yeah. That's kind of helping me out a little bit. Oh Jesus Christ. And that's fifth place gone, I think. There's the flag, it's over. Alright, where do we finish? Sixth? Okay. Cool. I knew it! I knew I was running the baseline setup this whole time! Alright. So, let's give that another go. But this time, and not run the baseline setup. Oh, you're a place on timeout? It wasn't me, and if if it was one of the admins, it might have been on accident filing. But yeah, most likely an accident, dude. Sorry about that. I didn't do it, but yeah, it might it might have been an accident. It didn't like the E post sixth. Do these cars have candles for headlights? Yeah. Hey, these cars are from like the nineteen twenties, bro. Accident short TMC. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We're just conspiring against filing account. It's not like almost as if if I wanted to really ban him, I would have done it a long time ago. <laughs> Sleepy fireflies.
All right, now this time we're going to run the baseline setup and try to, you know, go to the baseline, or not the baseline setup, the low downforce setup and see if we can remove more downforce because the less downforce, the better. More, more drafting. Uh, let's see, what would be the best this year? Any tracks that we could use? For sure, low downforce. Monza could work, but I think just low downforce in general would be the best. Chassis! Let's see here. I just removed all the damn wing of the car. I think we should practice the standing starts. Hey UFC veteran, what's up man? How are you? So yeah, full throttle means shit's on a wheel spin. You're going the wrong way. Yes, I know. And hey, what idea? Oh, VR videos? Huh. Uh I mean, that sounds cool. Oh, fuck. I took too much wing out the car, but that's okay. Oh, they're showing us the black flag. It didn't exit the pit safely. We need to make a stop and go. I don't really care about the black flag. Can we still run on the apron for ultimate strats? Look, we're hitting 160 by ourselves. So two more minutes before the race um, server starts up. Yeah, Autopolis is making me really excited for GT Sport, man. Only four people in the practice session right now, but obviously more will show up. All right, guys, so I'm going to hit stop recording now. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to do like a highlight reel of the first race. If the second race is way more successful, that'll be a separate video. Maybe I'll include the first race as a highlight reel, but yeah, let me go ahead and just name the files because I have to do this new method now, so give me a second. Damn, it's gonna take a minute to save. Okay, one minute and a half to save that whole project. All right, fine. Damn, the McLaren F1. Okay, like, okay, the Ford GT LM Spec 2. I understand. I could understand that being a Group Three, but the McLaren F1, that's too overkill. I don't know, man. Like, shouldn't it have been a GR1? Yeah, GR3 is better than nothing, but like, will it get BOP? Like, how bad? How much will it get BOP though? That car just seems like overkill for that class. That's the thing, dude. It seems like that's gonna be a massively OP car in Group Three, 
And it's going to be that kind of card that decides the world final, in my opinion. If it's not BOP'd, you know, at the, you know, by that time. Only 30 more seconds till, this, till the file is saved. So, yeah. Yeah, the super formula. I'm really excited about that, Rick. Alright, file's been saved. Awesome. So now I can delete the audio track. And we start over. Yeah, if it was the long tail, it probably would have been group one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, that... That's the thing too. Like GR one gets su heavily affected by by having um, Group C cars in there. Because the Group C is the only thing that they they're, they're good at is Le Mans. Honestly, it's like high speed tracks, like straightaway straightaway speed and whatnot. Okay, let's make sure my baseline setup is not on. Yep, set up modified from low downforce. I guess UFC vet brings up a good point. So two minute practice session, which is plenty of time to test out the new settings on the car. So if I'm this far behind, will I catch up? see with the with the wing being completely trimmed we can't make any sudden movements like we were doing in the previous race gotta be more careful and yes this is really effective look how much speed I'm actually uh, gaining I'm not gaining a whole bunch but I'm gaining just enough momentum and us starting on the front row is gonna help out big time What if we make an outside pass? Let's just see. You can't adjust the transmission on this car at all. So, I would do that, but yeah, you really can't. You can only adjust like the tires and the chassis. That's really it. What's up, Daniel? No, this is a um, Radical SR8. on, you know, fastest in, in warm-up right now, just because I think, if I have to guess, he probably didn't have a guy weaving in front, and, and even then, he probably wasn't even testing, you know, trying out high passes and stuff, you know, like high side moves and whatnot. Alright, warm-up is over.
What is up guys? Welcome back to another iRacing video on this channel. This is the Booming Chicane and today we're doing the Are You Afraid of the Night series, the week 13 series, here at Talladega Super Speedway in the Radical SR8 class. This is my second race in this category and I'm on pole because I decided to do the qualifying race. So yeah, I did this race before on stream and I was running a baseline setup by accident. Now I'm running a very low downforce setup and it seems to be working in practice. So let's see if we can apply that setup to victory. So yeah, grid start here at Talladega. I screwed up the grid start in my first race. Let's see if we can get it down this time. Green, green, green. Oh, I felt the wheel spin right away. Kicked it up the second gear. Really good start, but that gives me a disadvantage because I'll be a sitting duck by the time we're probably on the back stretch. Taylor's been the fastest guy in all of you know the practices before this race, so oh, okay. He's being really aggressive early on. Ah, don't get too close, please. Oh my god. <laughs> He's starting to squeeze me just a little bit. So this is the kind of race in Talladega needs. And of course, more people joining the party. Here come the lads! Oh shit, three wide behind us! Oh my god, I'm going to the apron, I'm going to the apron. Screw this. They can have fun on the banking if they want. I'm going down on the apron. Alright, well, uh, that was pretty quick. From, what, first to last, pretty much? Problem is you can't see anything. Accidents like those happen just instantly. Well, we're out of the race. I can't even see my pit box. Where the hell are we supposed to box in? Where's the lollipop man? There he is. I see him now. Alright, you know what? I know it's, oh wait, it's not, um, okay, it's not minimized, good. Well, you guys might see that the screen's gonna freeze, don't, don't be alarmed, it's okay. But, screw this, you know what we're gonna do? Since we're already out of the race, essentially, we have no chance of winning. And I don't really feel like gambling and waiting, you know, continuing to drive. You know, to hopefully see if anybody's going to crash. Let's just say screw it. Let's go to the next race. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to forfeit from that race. And instead, we're going to go do some rally racing in week 13. Time to do some figure 8 racing, boys.
All right. Don't turn into Scott Speed. Oh, that time when I used to be a big fan of Scott Speed until that moment. What a disgrace, honestly. Like, that guy should be ashamed. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to do Irwindale, the figure eight. And I have no handbrake for this. I'm going to have to use the circle button on my TGT wheel. So this is not going to be good. I don't remember that, Arthur. Scott Speed was the one who was like playing iRacing and he was wrecking people on purpose. But, like, out of, like, being purely malicious, not necessarily, like, because he was having fun like Patricio Ward did when he got banned from iRacing. I know, right? Huge rage quit from Scott Speed. I don't know about the Toro Rosa stuff, Arthur. Maybe. Well, I don't know. It's not like he had a fall ant with Red Bull or anything. Oh, fuck. I mean, remember, he was still part of um, the Red Bull program up until like 2011 or 12? When, um... You know, because he was part of the Red Bull Racing NASCAR team. Down and give up the time gained. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I'm, I'm gonna need all of it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I'm murdering all the innocent cones. They say you cut the course. You'll have to slow down and give up the time gained. Look at me, I'm drifting with a all-wheel drive beetle. time all right oh by the way what's up rishi rishi is ignored that's your new name ufc toro rosso speed versus toss story okay oh. <laughs> he's kind of moving out the way like saying motherfucker quit drifting around here Alright, it's race time. Oh, you watched some figure eight racing off of YouTube yesterday? Yeah, man. Dude, figure eight racing is awesome. I know a dude who does it at Irwindale and at Orange Show Speedway.
But okay, yeah, um, we're gonna die. If you guys thought the Talladega racing was awful, this is gonna be way worse. First of all, let's see how many people are gonna be on track. What background noise? The, um, the, the people pulling in the trash? There's, really? There's only 11 of us? Okay. Last time there was 31 of us when I raced last night. Okay, so this is a little bit more feasible. Outside, clear outside. Holy fuck. Car outside, clear outside. Twenty one point seven two eight outside. Car stop down low. Car stop down low. Go high. Twenty point nine six two. Go high. Car stopped up high. Low car up high. Low car up high. Go low. Car outside. Point I did not collect them. Point two. One. Nine. Clear. Slow car ahead. Slow car down low. Twenty one point seven zero eight car stop down low. Slow car up high. Slow car up high. Go high. Car I'm third in practice right low. now. Car Probably because I'm actually low. staying clean. Outside. Still there. Clear outside. Twenty two point one three two car in I like to try to slide job me. Inside. Ain't gonna work. Car stop up high. Is that a Joy Logano styled beetle? Car stop down low. Oof. Car stop down low. Car outside. Clear outside. Oh. Outside. Clear. Oh boy. You've got wheel damage. Car outside. Oh. 24.19. Inside. This is going to be a holocaust. How much time do we have remaining in this warm session? 26 seconds. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, good job, Matt Kenson. Go low. Outside, clear outside, inside, go high, clear inside. All right, here we go. Inside, bit road is closed. You mean Bruce Flanders? You know he's the announcer for the for the uh, Long Beach Grand Prix as well, right, Mikhail? Oh wait, but you've never been to a Irwindale. Like, oval race, you've only been to the FD stuff. Well, 
What's up guys? Welcome back to another iRacing video on this channel. This is The Moving Chicane, and today we're doing the Rallycross Figure 8 Racing here at Urbandale Speedway for Week 13. And I'm on pole because I'm the only one who decided to do a qualifying run. So yay. 10 laps around Urbandale, it's a bit of a small field, 11 cars. But that should still mean chaos and destruction. Because in real life, that's how many cars usually do the figure eight race like at Irwindale Speedway. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. So I'm still gonna bunch the field up. You know, obviously we're gonna all line up. Once I'm out of the next loop, then I'll go ahead and go, because I could go now if I want to, because it's in the iRacing rule book. Once the pace car is in, but I don't really want to do that. I want it to be a good start. So, like... Green, green, green! Right there. Three second lap. Yeah, yeah, right. Sure, champ. Ah, uh, don't slide around too much. Take it easy, take it easy. Down a second. Oh my god! <laughs> I can see them behind me. Oh shit! I got the bump. What do I do? I don't know what to do. I have to cut the track. Oh, uh, I was forced to cut the track. No penalty, please. SR down. Hurry, go! I know I got wheel damage. Oh yeah, I, I have real wheel damage. Like, this ain't a joke. I can't turn the car! I legit cannot turn the car to the left. Go, 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 come on! Screw it. I have to cut the course. I have to. Am I? I don't even know where I'm at, to be honest. Holy shit. Car up high. Go low. Twenty five point zero. I can't turn the car. Go. Car inside. Clear. You're up top. Three wide. Inside. Two ah, wide. Joe Logano. Inside. Slow car ahead. You got two left to go. Holy shit! <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. They say you cut the course. You'll have to slow down and give up the time gained. Slow car ahead. Oh my god! I got hit from behind. I, I, I legit, thank you. That, oh, that white car helped me. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, yeah, I cannot turn the car right now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's over. All right, there's the chicken plan. Where did I finish? Sixth place, a lap down. Okay, I'll take it. And let's take a look at that accident once again in the intersection. Hey, what's up, Salika? 
<laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Into the catchments. Oh, this is fun. Alright boys, I think I'm gonna do the Talladega race again, because that's next. <laughs> the, the Ford Space Program. <laughs> God damn. That was so much fun, even though I got put into the wall and... My whole entire right front was destroyed. I couldn't turn the car at all. That's why I had to cut the course many times. No, it was awesome. It definitely was. It, it was a lot of fun. Alright, now we move on to the next race. <laughs> no kidding, right, Mikhail? All right, back in the darkness of Talladega. I'm the only one in practice. Let's learn the track limits here. See how far we can push this. Oh, there's a. Okay, well. You've got wheel damage. <laughs> I no shit. That was a huge bump on the road. Oh well. So now we know we can't go all the way to the bottom of the escape road. Oh yeah, real spooky Salika.
Now hopefully we don't get caught up in any one, any messes again. Oh, you played so much Gran Turismo, you're Gran Turismo now. That's a nice story, mijo. Autopolis? Yeah, man. That's a track that I saw last year in Super GT season. In the Super GT Championship season. And um, I was like, damn. If we can get this in the game. But then I was informed by people on my Discord that Need for Speed Pro Street was like the only other game that had Autopolis. Garing drive. Clear. How was it, Mikhail? One minute, two point three three seven. I'm fastest right now in, in warm up. Yay. First corner is a bit of a speaking corner. Well, yeah. I mean, Autopolis is definitely one of those places where, in terms of real world tracks, I've never driven on it in any sim. Obviously, because it's not really available in any sim. Unless you um, have like an R Factor or a set of course a mod of some sort. But, anyways. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, anyways. Um, it's going to be fun to learn that track when we get to it. I don't know why I'm moving back and forth. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Test the car out with no tr with literally like trimmed. I wonder how I didn't collect that, dude. Uh, but yeah, uh, I wanted to see how the car reacted on low downforce, and yeah, it's very sensitive. I know, Salika, it's dope. Get on the oval, you wuss. Boy, the apron is even worse. Clearly, you're not from America, because you otherwise you'd know that. It's a proven fact that the apron is actually scarier than the oval itself. All right, race number two of this video and yeah let's see how it goes green 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 wow slow get away from the pole sitter 
damn, that was a hell of a start. But just like the previous race, I'm a sitting duck. Hopefully this time we don't run into any shenanigans on lap two, because that would suck. Outside. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Clear. I feel like I'm going to take out that Belgian driver ahead of me. You're on the bottom, three wide. Hold your line. Outside, two wide. Clear. Outside. Still there, still there. Clear outside, one. See, maybe I'll keep up with this lead pack now. Dude, look at him three wide for second. Clear outside. Three wide for first now. Car outside. Three by two. Clear outside. Three by three. Good lord. The one that's weaving in the middle, he's gonna cause an incident. I'm calling it now. Outside. Clear outside. Nearly collected that one car. Holy shit! That is the one danger zone. I'm just chilling back here. Can't beat him, join him. I feel like those guys are still faster, like shit. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. I I was trying to my best to avoid that. You've got wheel damage. Oh my god. Please no! Oh my God! Looks like your car is toast. You'll need a tow back to pit lane. Press and hold your reset button, and we'll come and get you. Oh, gee, thanks, Mikael. At that moment, I realized it was too late. I was like, oh, fuck. Alright, all right, Rick. See ya, man. Alright, I'm gonna do one more race. Because I actually, I actually want to go watch Rick's stream. So, yeah. Let's do one more race at, um... Irwindale. And then call it a night. Well, yeah, call it a night, because this is a bit of a shorter stream for today. I might come back with some more Gran Turismo a little bit later on, but... Yeah, I want to go watch Rick's stream. <laughs> watch him do B-Spec.
Yeah, Wonder Smilk, clearly, yeah. I know, I fucked up there. I was following the smoke when I should have... Uh, but that's the thing, though, once, like, that, there was the big one. I don't know what to do. I was like, oh, fuck, what do I do in this case? Waiting for the session to start. You would pray. Yeah, me too. <laughs> 